Uh, shalom, shalom as well. First off, what's the color lol? Yahweh, Bashim, El Shai, Bashim, El Kakodash. The honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Stone. Shalom to you, brothers in the Irish and by way preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Chapal from the James Jamaica camp. You know, I just want to give a little input on this coronavirus. You know what I mean? This is an outbreak in China and spread through the, the, the well, it's spreading now, you know. Seeing on one or two things, man. Look, this could be, you know what I mean? Because we know we know we deal with, man. We know Pisa and the media. We know a lot of things, you know, in wherein a lot of things could be propaganda. You know what I mean? And on the other hand, a lot of things could be real, but the scriptures are the, are the main thing we are going for right now, man. And that are the only thing that is true. So just say, let, let the Lord be true and every man a liar. You know I mean, I, I, so I say that because, you know, this could be an attack on China, you know what I mean, because China has been, been giving America help, you know what I mean, and there is trade wars, there is a tariff, you know what I mean, and you know what I mean, a lot of things. Trump been making visit to China, you know, they mean in, in discussion, China is, is, is having you know, a foothold in every country, you know, China has been rising you know, and becoming a world superpower, you know, so this could be... A uh, uh, propaganda attack are basically, um, you know, I mean, you know, look, a lot of things, a lot of flags that has been raised, and I mean, a lot of red flag, a lot of things, you know, has been raised, raised in this incident. Seeing so, we don't want to go overboard and say, boy, this could be that or that. We're just saying that it, it's up, it's it's there, man, and we know the so-called white man, when I'm operate. You know I mean, and another thing is that. Look, they are trying to, and this is no secret to you people. No, if you're in 2020 and you still don't know this, man, right? We are are the children of Israel, right? Us as Hebrew Israelites, all right, right? And we are the Israelite race. Which I speak about man. predominantly. When I'm speaking about we, we are speaking about um, you um, Latinos, right? Native American Indians and the so-called Negroes, man, right? Hispanics, you know, we are the lowest people on the face of the earth. I right? and scripture saying in Psalms um, 82, I believe, um, say um, they make a, 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 a council amongst themselves to come, let us cut them off from being a nation, which is the house of Israel, man. Right? So we know, say, Isa and the upper elites, you know, is going to be gunning for our people, man. Right? And uh, them plan to wipe us off of the face of this earth, man. Right? So that they can get a promise. You know, now this is, is, is one of the things where they might go use. Right? Now he saw don't 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 mind killing um a couple of their people also, right? You know? See them them because that, that's that's the wicked intention and the heart of these men. Right? See so so these these diseases men are things that a lot of people don't know that these men create a lot of these diseases in labs, all right? However, however, you know, the scripture tell us that these things are going to be done in a lot of days, man, all right? Extreme diseases and plagues as scripture refer to them as we just go, you know, one, one scripture, like before we are um, going to the article. Alright, so this is uh, Matthew 24 and verse, uh, start of verse 3. Right, Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him um, privately, uh, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Right, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And the world and the word world you go back to um the word um the Greek word um aeon. Aeon. You know, which means a age. You know, time or age. See so when the disciples were asking um Yahusha with the word to call Jesus Christ. Right, his name is Yahusha, you know what I mean? Which means um he's a deliverer. And the name of the old the heavenly father is, is um Yahweh, which means um he is. <laughs> Like, yeah. So, um, what we were asking Yahusha is that, 
when it will be the end of this age, when it will be the end of the time, you know what I mean, and the, the coming, the ushering of the kingdom, of our kingdom, you know what I mean, this is the kingdom of Israel, see, and he said this unto them, he said, verse 4, he said, I answered them and said unto him, take heed that no man deceive you, all right, all right, well, let's jump with verse 6 and let's see the points, all right, so it's, uh, verse 6, and he shall hear of wars, right, and rumors of wars, see, that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Haven't we been hearing of wars and rumors of wars within um, Russia, China, Iran since recently, and, and America? You know what I mean? These nations and all of the, the smaller nations, right? Look, we're not time of war, man. These men are, are, are displaying them power. ICBM missiles, Russia tests, um, the last one I believe it was a half guard. You know what I mean? With unbelievable speed. You know? So these nations are not testing these missiles for nothing. Right? But it continues. It's, um, for nations shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Right? Right? There shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places. Right? It's a famine and pestilence, man. Right? And pestilence go back to the diseases. A lot of these diseases are going to be released. Right, in at this time to come, and as we read the first precept, it's um, the disciples was asking when are gonna be the end of this age, right? And 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 it's all out say when you see these signs, right? So when you see all of these pestilence, all of these diseases, you know that we're not the time, man. you know, we're in at that time, we're in we're in your house, I shall go make him visit. So we're just going at this article and then we we'll bring out a couple more scriptures just to prove our point, man, that the scriptures are real, man. So this article from um, Al Jazeera, right? It's um, China battles coronavirus outbreak, um, all the latest updates. Right? It's a corona outbreak has killed 160 people in China and affected 4,500 globally, most of them in the Asian country. China and countries around the world are scrambling to contain the spread of a new uh, coronavirus that has killed um, at least 106 people and infected uh, more than 4,500. Right. So Germany has reported its first case of a virus and as the United States um, and Canada up updated travel warning to advise their citizens to avoid all non-essential travel to China. You know what I mean? And, and all of this has got hurt China economy also, man. See? So that's why I'm saying that maybe, just maybe, you know, this is an attack on China. And maybe this thing is not real because we all know the, the, the propaganda and the, you know, we know, look, these things are not new to us, man. Look, we know the so-called white man work, man. We know ESA work. I continue to say more than 56 million people were all, um, in almost 20 Chinese cities, including um, Wuhan, capital of um, Hubei, or Hubei, a right, province, and the um, uh, epicenter of and the epicenter of the virus have been prevented from traveling in an attempt to curb the spread of the virus during the Lunar New Year our spring festival tradition, China's um, um, busiest travel season, right? See, and this is that season when China go make a lot of money, a matter of fact. The economy, you know what I mean? Because when you have these things, man, the economy boom. Because money has been spent, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of travels, you know what I mean? The economy is on a, on a, on a rising, you know, things is happening, man. All right? See, and so that's why I'm saying that maybe this is, you know, it's, it's not a, you know, see, and so yeah, you know, this virus is, is wreaking havoc. See, and so, um, our scripture said, this is, uh, Second Ezra 15 and verse, on verse, uh, 1, it said, Behold, speak down the ears of my people, no matter of fact. Let me just get this quick. This is, uh, Second Ezra 16 and verse 18, it said, The beginning of sorrows, and great mourning, the beginning of famine, and great death, the beginning of wars. What shall I do? So the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear. 
the beginning of evils what shall i do when this evil come see so this what you see is the beginning man right all of these things what we are going to when we see the wars them are the rumors of wars you know are um you know these pestilences these these new diseases the ebola was on the rise i, I think in the last year and a couple other diseases you know out here you know I me mean, i have the zika virus or the um dengue you know what i mean a lot of these little things man is popping up you know the woodwork man see all right so when we see all of these things man, we know that it, this is just the beginning man a lot of them are, are just testing these diseases so they can release them on a later date you know what i mean or basically them them are use them to see if them can enhance you know what i mean to see the damage what them can do i mean so so them can look man these men don't look these are some devious men who are dealing with man all right okay so um continuing our uh, verse 19 this will be all plagues be all famine and plagues tribulation and anguish are sent for scourges for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges seeing so all of these things are going people now consider say look the lord will be it before we do all right because we have sinned against the how about shim yow shy right this is the heavenly father and him son you know that is the reason why we've been punished man and I tell you in um in um deuteronomy so all of these curses have come upon us right and destroy us man see because what we have seen we have not taken the lord right into consideration in our daily life man we commit in adultery we're doing a lot of madness see so all of these pestilence Right, is from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the Heavenly Father and Him Son Himself, for our destruction, for disobeying Him. You know, so this is a, an, another way, another, another perspective, because guess what? Man can't do nothing except the Lord. Man, it's the Lord put the Spirit in a man to do all of these things. So believe it or not, all of these diseases and all of these things, man, you're going to know the wrath of the Lord, man, if you're not on His side. You know, see? So um, jumping to verse 22, it says, many, many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out right, as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. See, so that is what is coming for the future, this society, this wicked society, which, which don't hold the, the, the moral standards. I don't have no more standards, all right. And I'm um, trampling on, 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 on the, 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 the standards of the Bible, right? Are the words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know what I mean? His will and his way, you know, because that's not being held high in this society, see? All right. So this is, uh, as I said before, second is verse 15 and verse, um, verse 1, we start with verse 1, it says, Behold. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I shall put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yeah, and that are the reason why we, we out there in the highways and the byways, that are the reason why we're doing these videos. You know, so people can really see. Alright? People can really see and hear the words right, of prophecy because the elders them right, speak about these things years ago. Alright? The diseases and all of these things that we see them come to man right we see them fulfilling in front of our eyes man and these things was written in the scripture years ago man right so they have nothing they can't do nothing but to fulfill that which was written you know see it's, it's um and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true can it's not um fear not the imagination against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right? So it's a behold, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword and famine, death and destruction. Right? The Lord I could do that, man, as we said before, man. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their earthful looks, earthful lust works, sorry, are fulfilled. Therefore, say the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely committed, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, right, and the soul of the just can 
complain continually. Right? Look, man, uh, even, even, look, he, <laughs> even go be wearing with pass on the other day, man, in the heavens. You know what I mean? I cry and I complain to you, I him, you shy. Right? And we out here, right? We out here, you know what I mean? Playing the how about you shy to deliver us from the society, man. Because scripture says, oh, this is not our rest. Rise here and depart in Micah. This is not your rest, man. Because it will destroy you. Right? This is not our rest, man. Right? This place will destroy us, man. Okay? Right? It's and the soul of the just complain continually, and that's us, man, out there in the areas and the Bible. It says, sure, sh um, and therefore, say the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people are led as flock to the slaughter. Right? And I will not and I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. And Egypt is referred to um, America is referred to as Egypt. Because whenever you see um, Egypt, um, during um, the time of Exodus, um, you know, the book of Exodus on, onward, you know, you always refer to as the house of bondage, right? Remember, I take you from Egypt, the house of bondage, right? The Lord always make refer to Egypt as the house of bondage. You now, where are we serving our bondage you now? Where is the house of bondage you now in America? So, America is that place, spiritual Egypt. As scripture in um, Revelation you know, 11 and 8, so, you know what I mean? The place where it has to the spiritual Sodom and Egypt, man. See, spiritually, right? Because this is where the children of Israel serve in bondage today. We serve a hardcore bondage and we're still in bondage today. Scripture and Micah um, say, um, we are yet this day um, in our captivity, man. See? Alright. Continuing, it's. Um, so, last time I go, um, I'm supposed to dwell in the, in the land of Egypt no more. He said, but, this, and this is the point, he said, but. I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. So the Lord will smite Egypt with plagues, man. And a lot of these plagues are going to come by these diseases, right? Um, these high CBM missile, which are going to land upon America, all of the other nations, and where um, America has been deceived or America going to them country, or destabilize them country, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Look. Spiritual Egypt, which is America, and Babylon, again, which is America, is Babylon, go back to the word Babal, which means confusion. In America, the one we spew the most confusion out there, transgender, um, uh, homosexuality, uh, transhumanism, bestiality. Look, America give you a license for sin, man. Sin. So, the destruction, right, are going to be the plagues, right, and in scripture, Shows you, um, I believe in Zephaniah or Zechariah, that um, this is the plague of the Lord. I was saying upon 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 this this society, especially America, man. You know, seeing the Lord, I got destroy this society, man. So, seeing so that all of these things is in the will and power of your how about she may shine, man. Seeing so that one's the color of the how about she may shy, but she may call Kodash, the Bahanas. The elders and the apostles of great stone. So the one to you brothers in the highways and the byways preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. You know what I mean? Uh, I hope this lesson was very fine. You know, and, and, and basically, look, this is the time we need to turn to how about Shimei Shah because it's a time wherein the scripture in um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 says, Remember the days. It's like you remember the Lord in, in um while the evil days come not, prophet paraphrase scripture. You know what I mean? See, and there is evil times coming ahead, man. Right? And you want to be protected. See, and so this is basically for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Right? Because only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved from this coming destruction. See, so I pray this reach the years. You know what I mean? A sincere brothers. Shalom.